हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल राइट सो हियर वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस इंटीग्रल इन विच द ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर फंक्शन इज इन्वॉल्व राइट सो हियर वी हैव द इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम जीरो टू नेचुरल लॉग ऑफ टू कॉट इनवर्स एंड ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर ऑफ टू टाइम्स ई रेज टू एक्स माइनस वन एंड डिवाइडेड बाई टू टाइम्स ई रेज टू एक्स राइट वेर ई इज द एक्सपोनशियल नंबर राइट ओके सो वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल एंड लेट अस टेक दिस इंटीग्रल एज आई राइट सो हियर इन आवर इंटीग्रेंट वी हैव द ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर फंक्शन एंड इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व दिस डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल विल मेक यूज ऑफ द मेथड ऑफ सब्सटीट्यूशन राइट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट सो हियर वट वी विल डू Uh, will uh, substitute uh, t is equal to two times e raised to x minus one, right? So uh, the method of uh, substitution uh, is a powerful method in integration, right? So here I uh, will make use of this method, and here we are taking t is equal to two times e raised to x minus one. So let us differentiate t with respect to x. so we'll get two times e raised to x and here uh, one is a, a constant so the derivative is zero and the derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x right so now uh, we can write dx is equal to dt over uh, two times e raised to x right and now see uh, from this equation uh, we can write two times e raised to x is equal to t plus One right. So now uh, we can substitute uh, two times e raised to x as t plus one. So we have dt over t plus one. Right. So now we have dx is equal to dt over t plus one. Okay. So once we have expressed uh, dx in terms of t, now let us uh, change the limits. Right. So here we see that. Uh, the limits of integration are from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a natural log of 2 right so when x is equal to 0 uh, we'll find the value of t from this equation so we have t is equal to 2 times e raised to 0 minus 1 and e raised to 0 is equal to 1 so we have 2 times 1 minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 right and when Uh, x is equal to natural log of 2 uh, will have uh, t is equal to 2 times e raised to uh, log of 2 minus 1 right and uh, e raised to log of 2 is simply 2 because we know that uh, e raised to log of uh, uh, say a is equal to a right so this is an important result and we have used it here So e raised to log of two is equal to two. So we have two times two minus one. So this is four minus one. That is three, right? So when x varies from zero to log of two, uh, t varies from uh, one to three, right? So now uh, we can write our integral i as uh, uh, one to three, and we have uh, cot inverse. of greatest integer of 2 times e raised to x minus 1 so for 2 times e raised to x minus 1 we can write t so we have greatest integer of t divided by uh, t plus 1 right and for dx we can write uh, dt over t plus 1 right so now this integral uh, reduces to 1 to 3 cot inverse of greatest integer of t uh, divided by t plus 1 uh, whole square and here we have dt right so now we have to solve this integral right so now here uh, we see that uh, uh, t varies from 1 to 3 right so here we have t is equal to 1 and t is equal to 3 the lower limit is 1 the upper limit is 3 right and since Uh, in the integrand uh, we have greatest integer of t right so what we uh, will do here 
uh, see uh, between 1 and 3 uh, we have the integer 2 right so whenever uh, the greatest integer function is involved uh, we always search for integers right so uh, between 1 and 3 we have the integer 2 so we will split this integral uh, as a sum of two integrals right so the first one is from 1 to 2 and the second one is from 2 to 3 so this is an important uh, point here that uh, we have to split this integral as a sum of two integrals say i1 and i2 right so i1 is from uh, 1 to 2 and uh, the integrand is uh, cot inverse greatest integer of t divided by t plus 1 square dt and i2 is uh, 2 to 3 we have cot inverse greatest integer of t divided by t plus 1 square dt right so now we have uh, the sum of two integrals and we can separately solve these two integrals right so let us first con consider this one right so here uh, we see that t varies from uh, 1 to 2 right so it implies that t lies between 1 and 2 right so when t lies between 1 and 2 uh, then uh, the value of uh, greatest integer of t is equal to 1 right so this uh, this comes straight from the definition of uh, uh, greatest integer function so when t lies between 1 and 2 because the limits uh, goes from 1 to 2 so the value of greatest integer of t is 1 similarly here uh, t varies from uh, 2 to uh, 3 right so t lies between 2 and 3 so whenever t lies between t and uh, 2 and 3 the value of greatest integer of t is equal to 2 right so what we will do we will uh, replace greatest integer of t by 1 in this integral and uh, here the greatest integer of t is replaced by 2 in this integral right so i is now uh, equal to uh, 1 to 2 we have cot inverse of 1 for greatest integer of t we have 1 divided by t plus 1 is square and here we have dt and then uh, we have 2 to 3 cot inverse of uh, 2 and divided by t plus 1 square and dt right so now uh, let us uh, solve these two integrals right and here uh, see cot inverse 1 is uh, equal to uh, pi by 4 right because cot pi by 4 is equal to 1 and so we can take uh, this cot inverse of 1 outside the integral so we have pi by 4 uh, the value of cot inverse 1 is pi by 4 we have 1 to 2 then we have dt over uh, t plus 1 whole square right and uh, in the second integral we have cot inverse of 2 outside the integral being a constant and we have 2 to 3 and we have dt over t plus 1 whole square right okay so now we see that in both these integrals uh, we have to find the integral of 1 over t plus 1 square right so we can easily uh, find out this integral by making substitution so if we take z is equal to t plus 1 then dz is equal to dt and we have this integral is equal to dz over z square and that is uh, z raised to minus 2 dz and this is uh, z raised to minus 2 plus 1 over minus 2 plus 1 that is z raised to minus 1 over minus 1 so this is minus 1 over z right and z is equal to t plus 1 right so we have minus 1 over t plus 1 so the integral this integral is uh, equal to negative of 1 over t plus 1 right so now uh, we can write this these two integrals as pi by 4 and uh, for this integral we have negative of 
uh, 1 over t plus 1 the limits goes from 1 to 2 here we have cot inverse of 2 and then uh, here also we have negative of 1 over t plus 1 then we have 2 to 3 right okay now we can take the, this negative sign outside similarly this negative sign outside so we have minus pi by 4 and we have 1 over t plus 1 1 to 2 then we have uh, here uh, minus cot inverse of 2 taking this negative sign outside we have 1 over t plus 1 limits are from 2 to 3 right so now we can substitute the limits and we'll take the difference so we have minus pi by 4 so when we take t is equal to 2 this is 2 plus 1 3 then we have half taking 1 here then we have cot inverse of 2 and uh, here we have uh, 3 plus 1 4 then we have uh, 2 plus 1 3 right so now we have minus pi by 4 so this is uh, 2 minus 3 over 6 this is uh, minus cot inverse 2 this is 3 minus 4 over 12 and now we have uh, here minus 1 over 6 so this is pi over uh, 24 right because see uh, here we have minus pi by 4 and this is uh, minus 1 over 6 and here we have minus cot inverse of 2 and uh, here we have minus 1 over 12 right so this is uh, minus minus plus so we have pi over 24 and here we have plus uh, 1 over 12 uh, cot inverse of 2 right so now the value of uh, this integral is equal to uh, pi over 24 plus 1 over 12 and here we have cot inverse of 2 right okay now we can further simplify it we can take 1 over 12 common so we have pi over 2 plus a cot inverse of 2 right okay so now we can here make use of one important uh, identity from inverse trigonometric functions so we have tan inverse of x plus cot inverse of x is equal to pi over 2 right so if we replace x by 2 here so we have tan inverse of 2 plus cot inverse of 2 is equal to pi over 2 right so cot inverse of 2 is equal to pi by 2 minus tan inverse of 2 and now we can replace this cot inverse of 2 by pi by 2 minus tan inverse 2 so i becomes 1 over 12 and here we have pi by 2 plus uh, cot inverse 2 is equal to pi by 2 minus tan inverse of 2 so now uh, we have 1 over 12 and pi by 2 plus pi by 2 is pi so we have pi minus tan inverse of 2 right so the value of this integral uh, can also be taken as this or by simplifying it further we can also take uh, the final answer as uh, 1 over 12 uh, pi minus tan inverse 2 right so viewers uh, this is how uh, we can solve uh, these type of problems right